The Rebirth Island quest requires you to complete three Easter eggs that can be completed in any order. One requires an ID badge, which you can find around the map, and the other two have a puzzle you must solve. Even though these Easter eggs can be completed in any order, they must all be completed within the same match to unlock the new blueprint. The first and easiest Easter egg is to collect the ID badge and restore power to the harbor. You'll have to land at factory, and on the B floor, there's going to be a staircase that goes all the way up to the top of the building. You're not going to do anything but shoot this box behind the fence at the bottom of the stairs. Once destroyed, you'll be able to pick up an ID badge, and the smartest thing to do is jump right off the balcony into the water and swim all the way to harbor. There are a few underwater tunnels that you're able to take. Of course, you might drown, so be a little bit smart and go down with a full breath. That way you can sneak all the way to this unnamed building, which has this second story locked. This ID badge will unlock the top floor, and you'll be able to interact with this computer to restore power. And that's all you have to do for the first step. Next, you're going to head to chemical engineering. There's going to be three Cyrillic symbols on different floors, and each are going to correlate with a specific number. You'll find these symbols on the third and fourth floor, as well as the basement. Make sure you're writing down or keeping track of these numbers, because you'll need them to solve this next puzzle. In this room, once you clear out all the enemies, you'll be able to reset the water level, and the puzzle begins. You'll have three pipes with three Cyrillic symbols. Left to right, they're De, Sha, and Ze. Easier understood as the Weird A, the Weird W, and Weird X. You'll also have three terminals, and anytime you interact with them, the numbers on these pipes are gonna change. If it's not obvious by now, the three numbers that you found correlating to these symbols are the numbers that you're gonna wanna match up on each pipe. Interacting with a terminal will increase a specific pipe's number by one. Terminal 1 increases all three symbols. Terminal 2 will only increase de or the weird A symbol. And Terminal 3 will increase de and ze, which are the weird A and weird X symbols. Interact with these terminals to match up each symbol and their correlating number. If you ever make a mistake, you can go back to the computer to reset the water level and start from the beginning, and don't worry, you can do this as many times as you need to to solve the puzzle. Once you get all three numbers correctly matched up, you'll be rewarded with a few durable gas masks, and step two is complete. The final puzzle is on the second floor of industry. In this room, you'll notice a glass case with multiple rewards behind it, including every plate vest, a plate box, an advanced UAV, and the blueprint we are going to unlock. Just across from the glass case is going to be a computer with a bunch of percent values on it. Each of these values is going to be next to what seems like a progression bar. These numbers are going to correlate to a code that you'll have to put in just to the left of this weapons case. The order the numbers must be input correlates to how big those bars are, so it's going to go from the largest bar to the smallest bar. It took me longer than it should have to figure out this puzzle, and I think I'm going blind because it took me forever to figure out which bar was bigger than the other. In order from biggest to smallest, my numbers were 22, 17, 13, 5, and 1. So my code to unlock the case is 22171351. After inputting all of the numbers correctly, you will unlock all four plate vests and the plate box. You should take into account that the numbers are going to be randomized every game. Only once have I had the exact same number twice, so I'm under the assumption there's only a set amount of codes it can be, but those set amount of codes is determined by what's on the computer screen. So just don't go guessing random numbers on the keypad, it's honestly really easy to solve. Finally, once all of these three easter eggs have been solved, you're able to press this red button, which will open up the glass case, so you're able to collect the new weapon blueprint, as well as an advanced UAV as your rewards. Anytime each of these easter eggs are completed, the three red lights above this button will turn green once they're completed. That means you don't have to complete these in order, but as long as all three are completed, you'll be able to collect these rewards. This also means that enemy players and enemy teams are able to complete these easter eggs separately, yet the progression will still count towards unlocking this case. So if you notice that some of these lights are green before you've completed those easter eggs, you are able to skip one or two of them if another team has done them for you. 
keep in mind, if this does happen, you're going to be fighting against another team and odds are they know what they're doing and want to unlock this blueprint. I completed this Easter egg solo and I didn't have any troubles whatsoever. However, more people are learning about this reward and want to unlock it. So expect lots of players to be in these areas trying to complete these small quests, as well as we're on Rebirth Island Resurgence. You should expect lots of players to land at these points of interests anyway, because they are quite popular. You most likely won't get it on your first try. Even though it is an easy quest to do, other players could beat you to it, or you could just die. Is the reward worth it? Well, that's not really up to me to decide for you. If you're trying to win as many Warzone games as possible to drop the new Rebirth Island Champions quest, having durable gas masks, a free advanced UAV, and a tempered armor vest does seem pretty beneficial. The blueprint you unlock is for the DG-58, which used to be one of the best meta weapons in Warzone. It did have a pretty significant nerf, and the attachments on this blueprint aren't what I would consider Warzone appropriate. However, it is still a gun that's useful. It's not going to one burst enemies like it once did. And if you're looking to compete at the highest caliber using the meta weapons, you are going to have an issue. I was still able to win a couple games using it paired with the HRM submachine gun. And it is a free blueprint after all. If you're trying to collect every blueprint in the game, this is one that you have to check off your list. And on the case that you don't have specific attachments unlocked, this blueprint may have some of those attachments that you want to use. It's a fun, simple quest, and I'm sure as Rebirth receives more updates, we'll see more stuff like this in the future. Who knows? This small Easter egg may be part of a larger Easter egg that has yet to be discovered. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy and you found this useful. Oh no, the inner demons in me are coming out. Subscribe!